Hi everyone, welcome back to Grace and Glory Homeschooling. My name is Michaela, and today I have a special guest, Holly. She is my friend and she is a board member with Grace and Glory Academy. And we are doing a video today that was a request from one of our subscribers to talk about Apologia Science. And I've asked Holly to come sit in because she has used it in the upper levels and I have used it more so in the lower levels. So together we're going to share um, some pros and cons and a few tips um, that will hopefully help you as new homeschoolers and maybe seasoned homeschoolers who are transitioning into um, maybe the older years of homeschooling your kids. So let's just dive on in. All right, well thank you for uh, asking me to be with you, Michaela. Um, one of the things that I know I get asked about a lot as a private homeschooler is being able to teach a science that's in line with um, our beliefs biblically. And so one of the pros that I find with Apologia Science is it's biblically strong. The ideas that it brings out always give back glory to the creator, especially I find uh, with the biology and the life sciences, everything points back to a creator and strength wise, it's what we've been teaching in our home and so it undergirds uh, the teaching that way for the upper level Apologia classes. For sure. Um, and then also something that's great about Apologia is they have so many different options for different learning styles. So maybe your child is an auditory learner or a visual learner or a kinesthetic learner. You can find resources that they offer that will go with their learning style. So for example, um, you can purchase the general science textbook. That would be that one. Um, they have the full textbook um, on audio CD. Mm -hmm. So it's the author reading it allowed. And so the student could listen to the book at the same time that they're reading it in their hands and it would help them maybe if um, they have trouble, you know, pronouncing the vocabulary words or figuring out the Latin words, um, that could be helpful. They also offer 7th through 12th online classes and they have them uh, recorded or live option. Um, so that would be good if you have a visual learner or maybe you as a mom want to take hands off and you would just like them to watch the course. Um, that could be a plus. They also, for the younger years, have lap books, notebooks, um, so many different options that go along with the textbooks. And that's so helpful. I have three students at home uh, that have all used Apologia in some way and three different learners. And so one thing that I'm thankful for is all the different ways we can learn that way. But the Apologia, I find, has such a straightforward approach to teaching science, even with different learners. Um, you know from the beginning of the chapter what to expect. It tells you what to expect. By the end of the chapter, once your child has already answered the questions, if you choose to do that, you can go into a study guide. You don't have to go into a study guide. You can do a test. You don't have to do a test, but it's laid out in such a way that's very easy to follow from start to finish. And it's so in depth in a way with their learning and so deep in the learning. I believe that you don't get any holes um, in your learning based upon the plethora of information that's in especially a 7 through 12 book. You can see the weight of a book like this, but you still have the freedom as a parent with how much you want to cover, but you're not going to get any holes when you are having the option with how much you want to cover. So it's a complete curriculum that way, or complete coverage we call it, where I don't find you get any gaps. Right. And that will help if you're a new homeschool mom and you're worried, am I doing enough? Am I going to cover enough? Um, definitely, for sure, um, with Apology of Science. Um, something else that's also really cool is that they offer a couple different levels of notebooks um, for students. So I'm talking about the elementary series. That would be the K through 6, the Young Explorer. Um, so I have right here the Junior Anatomy Notebooking Journal, and then this is the regular anatomy notebooking journal, and I would say this is for like K through second, maybe third, or any um, special needs students. It's a little bit easier. Um, there's going to be more coloring pages. They're going to offer the copy work is going to have in manuscript and cursive versions, so you can choose uh, what you would like to do with that. And then the traditional or the regular version is going to have um, a lot more writing involved 
in it and it still has drawing opportunities but it's just a more um, advanced level um, but you can still keep the family together so mm -hmm. like if you have kids that are you know a kindergartner a second grader and a fourth grader they can all do the same textbook um, and where mom would read aloud um, but then they each have their own notebook and at the high school level with the notebooks the wonderful thing about it is it helps the child to either do independent work setting up their experiments or at the younger level helping the parent walk through step by step with the experiments and one thing that is so um, good about the Apologia and especially with the notebooks um, or the textbooks is it being in color and the pictures being in color and so you're getting um, that visual aid with the learning and so, and I love that it's scripture also in the notebooking. So sometimes one of the cons to having to do or wanting to do a textbook or a notebook can be the cost if you're buying it new. But as with many of these curriculums, because they've been around so long, you can find them in great condition used. Uh, you can see even on some of this, I've actually, had this book for two or three years and I believe I even bought it used at a, at a sale or at a library sale and it hasn't been written in so they're quality books so brand new you can invest and pay the money but you can also find them used which is so great I think I've got all of mine used and um, when you're looking at the elementary series be sure to first check out the website because they do have a recommended order but also take a look at the previews that they offer on their website because I found like exploring creation with botany um, this is actually a previous version they just came out in 2020 with a new cover so if you go to look for this you're gonna see that the cover has changed um, the older version like this is actually less reading the paragraphs are smaller um, and the wording is more simple for I would say like the K through third um, and it's just sp uh, spaced out to where it's not really long length of reading the newer one the newer version has more content it's a thicker book so be sure to look they've done a lot of updates and changes um, but then it's a huge jump into anatomy so I would say you would want to wait and do this one until um, maybe like fifth or sixth grade this would be a lot I mean unless your child's super passionate if you have a child that's like begging to learn about the human body then maybe they would dive into it even in first grade but the vocabulary is more difficult the projects are more difficult and it will take mom a, a lot more time to explain things so I would hold off on this one until later uh, the same with the one that is um, chemistry and physics mm -hmm. and when you get into books like chemistry and physics or even the biology at a high school level because of the in-depth I find that a lot of um, high school level students like to take uh, their science in groups some people offer them in homes but I notice a lot of co-ops do the Apologia classes as a co-op because we can do the book work at home and then they can do the experiments together in a class and so if you go to a co-op it's easy to find students because it's such a well-known curriculum that are doing this you can do together in a group and the website is helpful they offer the experiment kits and you can buy a kit and then they can do it together in a group and so apologia can definitely be co-op friendly also done in groups or done independently again covering so many checking so many boxes as i like to say so definitely co-op friendly in the 7 through 12th range for a lot of the classes yeah and sometimes it helps to just have accountability in your science to know that there's other kids that are doing the same chapters the same week they're all going to do the same labs together so mm -hmm. it kind of helps having that um, accountability i think for mom and the kids especially as they get older I would agree with the accountability when there were times when we needed to do experiments at home uh, if we didn't have co-op that week or we needed the lab hours with my high schooler um, I would find that it was best uh, one of the tips I would say is do science experiments or start science in the morning uh, when your older children tend to be more fresh uh, we would plan it out and start it in the morning uh, I would say apology experiments do take a lot of time 
and prep work beforehand, but if you can prep it beforehand, they would be successful if we did science right away. We started it early, we planned it out so that they're learning the process also and to self-govern and to be an independent learner, even as a high schooler. Yes, and one of the tips I would say uh, if you are a new homeschooler is to be sure to plan ahead for those science mm -hmm. experiments. And also you will find if you bought the notebooking journals, there's going to be a suggested schedule at the beginning. Um, and it's gonna show you how to do science two days a week. And just as a mom, I have been homeschooling for 13 years. That was hard for me. I was never able to smash it all into two days. We actually had to stretch it out throughout the week because we found that it was quite long if we waited and tried to do everything in those two days. So maybe you want to spend an hour and you're okay with spending a long length of time two days a week. But for us, I, um, as a busy mom, I didn't really have that much time. And so I needed to spread it out. So you have permission as homeschool teacher to make your own schedule with whatever works with your family. Definitely, we spread it out also, uh, even though I have one student that loves science and would choose to do it all in one day, I found that it wasn't as successful trying to do that, that if we spread out one chapter even over two weeks, the information tended to make more sense as we did the work and engaged in it together. So even at the high school level, we spread a chapter out over two weeks, and I believe it gives even a recommendation to be able to do to be able to do that and your freedom to do that also if you want to spread it out. Yeah, make sure that you make the curriculum work for you. You don't work for the curriculum. Um, and with that being said, if you do utilize the notebooks and the lab books, keep in mind that you're covering a lot of other subjects besides just science. You're getting some writing in there. There's um, a little bit even of science history um, because like especially with anatomy, it talks about the um, early discoveries in medicine and um, there's cursive practice, there's Bible scriptures to memorize, there's um, art projects sometimes mm -hmm. that can get you know um, involved. So just know that if you're looking at planning your year, you could probably kill multiple birds with this one stone um, to save yourself some time. I would agree. I think as a whole too, I find it comforting as a homeschool mom that so many um, organizations recommend apologia science it tends to be a tried and true um, way to go i think if you're a new homeschooling mom everything could seem overwhelming at the beginning and so if everything's going to seem overwhelming if you just take a bite off and chew as much as you can know that you're getting a curriculum that's been tested by homeschool moms tested and approved and then you learn what your kids can and can't do and you learn how to make it work for you and you not be controlled by it for sure. Yes, and um, just a couple cons I would say um, is that if you're looking for something really short, um, if you're looking for something that's maybe like once a week, um, I do have other curriculum back here on my shelf that we've used different years that it is something that's just like one quick lesson a week. Um, that's not apologia. This is much more in-depth, broad coverage. Um, so that could be a pro or that could be a con depending you know, how you look at it. Um, also, the vocabulary is pretty rich and they do cover Latin. So that can be overwhelming. Um, could be a good or bad thing. What do you think about yeah. vocabulary? <laughs> I think um, I have three different style learners. I had one that did really well with the vocabulary, one that didn't do well, and one that was right in the middle. And so the fact that the curriculum gave it all to me, um, I let them handle as much as they could. Um, but I would say even me being able to pronounce some of it, at least we had a good time with. Um, I found that you would have to do maybe some more preparation work, uh, listening to it beforehand. That's why the audio CD is good. Or you had to look it up and spend the time going into what a dictionary was and pronouncing the words. I will say that they do offer the phonetic spelling in there. Mm -hmm. um, so it was at least familiar than when I did hear it. But I would say it's arduous. It's, there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. And they do have built-in reviews, so um, there's stopping points, what do they call it? Like, what do you think? Um, times where you ask questions um, with the kids and you have oral discussions with them. 
Um, there's times when it's just little activities, maybe not an experiment, but just like a stop and try this um, portion. That's what they call it, try this. Um, and so ultimately you have to decide really how much do you want to dedicate of your homeschool time to science. Maybe some people really, if your kids really love it, if you really love it, you want to devote a lot of time and make that a big chunk of your day. Um, I know a lot of traditional schools are losing that, and so maybe that's something you want to have in your homeschool. Um, if you don't, that's okay too. I mean, Bible is always the most important part of the day, um, mm -hmm. and you just decide how much is good for your family. Right. right. It was good for our family to even start slow with science because my kids hadn't been exposed to a lot of science. Uh, they started homeschooling young and were in a private school before that. And so until they got into the later years, I probably didn't um, explore apology until we got into the later years, but wanting them to be prepared for college level science, I felt like in the high school years, this gave them the prep work for college, but I wouldn't jump right in. I would say that's a con. I don't know if you can jump right in to the high school level of science with no understanding. It's great to start at the elementary years because all of their curriculum definitely is written in such a synonymous way that you have to have some exposure to it. Um, but if you're brave, do it. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting because the K through 6 goes one topic or one subject at a time for the whole year. So like one whole year you would be studying swimming creatures um, of the sea. But then when you get into the older years, it covers a broad range of topics. So especially in the general science year, this is actually recommended at the 7th grade level. Um, I'm going to have a 7th grader this year we are going to look at it and make it work for us um, but it's definitely a large chunk for a seventh grader so i would say it's one of the science curriculums that is a higher level learning for most you can make it work for you but this at the seventh grade level uh, was intense mm -hmm. well we hope that this was helpful to you if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments and we would be happy to reply to them and um, if you have any other video requests, we would love to share future reviews with you. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.